Electric City is an animated, post-apocalyptic, science fiction, web series published through Yahoo Screen. It was released July 17, 2012 and for now contains 20 short episodes totaling 90 minutes in length. Aaron McPherson, vice president and head of video for Yahoo, claims this is a first project in what will be known as online digital blockbusters. The series stars the voices of Tom Hanks, Holland Taylor, Gene Triplehorn, Jennifer Goodwin, Jason Antoon, Chris Parnell, Joey Kern, Paul Shear, June Diane Raphael, and Georg Stanford Brown. Created by Tom Hanks, the series begins after the world has ended. Electric City represents peace and security in the midst of rubble. Even though it seems to be an orderly utopia, there are still secrets, back-alley dealings, daring chases and murder. The episodes are available to view for free on Yahoo.com. Episodes continue to be available to purchase through apps for iOS and Android devices. Topic. Production. Animation services for Electric City were provided by Six Point Harness in Los Angeles under the direction of Joel Trussell. Topic. Development Tom Hanks, Josh Feldman, and Bo Stevenson, all of whom voice characters, began writing Electric City in 2003 without intending it as necessarily a web series. Tom Hanks wrote the first story in 2003 on an Olivetti Letter A22 typewriter. Tom Hanks said that during the development the idea was just worked and reworked at Playtone, Hanks's production company, without a production or distribution plan until Yahoo purchased the distribution. Topic. Plot In a post-apocalyptic setting, mankind is reduced to small settlements whose main business is to produce electric power. With fossil and nuclear fuel sources mostly depleted, the communities are dependent on naturally created electricity, be it by air, water, or muscle power, the latter of which is used as a punishment for criminals and other undesirables of this society. Under the motto, All in service to all. Everyone must contribute to society's welfare. Electric City is actually a collective name for several geographically separated precincts. Central Cultural and Social Administration takes place at central stations. Other precincts include Narima, the site of Electric City's water purification facilities and of the Camera Obscura Observatory, the meeting place of the Knitting Society. Greenlight, where the city's first university is located. Morningside, the most modern precinct and residential area. The Mines, a mining and manufacturing district. The Agricultural Territories, the main food provider for the city. And the Outside, an unsettled off-limits territory lining the coast near Electric City, which is inhabited by fugitives from the persecution by the Knitting Society. The precinct's main connection is by their power cables and a wired radio service, but free communication, trading, and traveling has been made illegal, since it entails the wasting of precious electrical power reserves as well as the gradual loss of influence for the Knitting Society, a matriarchal group of war survivors who founded Electric City and are ruthlessly trying to maintain their power base. The Tap Coders, an underground movement of free thinkers trying to circumvent the current social restrictions by establishing an illegal communications network, especially present a considerable thorn which they seek to eliminate. Topic. Technology There appears to be a limited use of technology in this new society. Wood seems to be the primary construction material instead of metal or plastic. 
Also firearms appear to be absent. Some conveniences are shown, such as electric light and electric heat. There are no horses or other pack animals, but bulk transportation appears to be available by freighter boats that traverse the canals. The Skytrain appears to be a crude electric tram system that runs on an elevated suspended cable. The walking post delivers interpersonal communication, but it seems to be of limited use, and does not carry parcels. The wire service is a form of radio that is broadcast to sets that are hardwired into the main studio at Wire Central. Electricity is generated through several sources, but the city is powered down overnight to conserve energy, except for the wire service. Citizens are discouraged for and punished if they are found to be tapping off of the wire service power supply. The use of recording wire is also seen, a technology that largely disappeared in the 1950s with the advent of magnetic tape. A newspaper is published called The Daylight, but it appears only in the old, broadside, format, posted in kiosks in town squares and no subscribers or single issues sold. An encampment on the outside is shown to have a full library of vinyl records, as well as stereo players, supposedly salvaged from the Lost Cities. Topic. Geography Little is known about the actual location of Electric City, though some references have been made to the Swollen Lakes which could be a reference to the Great Lakes, which could place Electric City somewhere in Michigan or Wisconsin, or somewhere in the American Midwest. Topic. Cast of characters Cleveland Carr formerly Lorenzo 17, Tom Hanks, the main protagonist he was formerly a team leader of the AMP Allied Municipal Patrol, but was stripped of his old life and identity due to a tragic accident during a mission, and was recruited by the Knitting Society as a grid operative and assassin for Ruth Orwell. Though originally unquestioningly loyal, he begins to harbor doubts following his meeting Hope and his assignment to assassinate Richard Jacobs. Ruth Orwell Holland Taylor, an elder lady and childhood survivor of the apocalyptic war which reduced humanity to its current state. She is a member of the matriarchal founding group of Electric City, nicknamed the Knitting Society. She is also Carr's immediate superior. Mrs. Emerson Lindsay Stoddard, a member of Electric City's founding council. Mrs. Zilowski Edith Fields, founder of the Knitting Society. Hope Chatsworth Jean Triplehorn, a popular young anchorwoman for the radio news station Wire 6, iconically called Voice of the City. Eventually, she becomes Cleveland's girlfriend. Frank Diedelman, Joey Kern, Hope's technician colleague at Wire 6, and secretly also a tap coder activist. Roger Moore, Tara Sands, a young boy and youth auxiliary member who spies on the code transmissions of the tap coders for the AMP. Gladys Elba, Kristen Klebundi, a member of the Electric City YX, youth auxiliary, and a friend of Roger Moore. She usually serves tea to the Knitting Society. Garrison. Knobs. Butler Jason Antoon, a small-time crook who makes a living in selling illegal radio listening sets to civilians, is later forced to serve Carr as his underground G-man. Dr. Lohman, David K., head of the Revolutionary Forces. Michaela, Tara Strong, assistant to Dr. Lohman. Biff Josh Feldman, a member of the Revolutionary Movement, and Hap's partner is killed by Cleveland via electrocution during an arrest attempt. Hap Bo Stevenson, a member of the Revolutionary Movement, and Biff's partner, is killed by Cleveland via electrocution during an arrest attempt. Richard. 
Dick Jacobs, John Rubinstein, publicly a fabric cutter, he is secretly a grid operative working for the Knitting Society under the direction of Mrs. Emerson, but since meeting his wife Eva, he decides to retire in order to support his family. For this perceived treason, he is assassinated by Cleveland under orders of the Knitting Society. Eva Jacobs, June Diane Raphael, Richard's wife and expecting mother, and a tap coder. She is unaware of her husband's affiliation with the Knitting Society until after his untimely demise, and together with LaFong begins to investigate his past and the circumstances of his death and subsequently flees to the outside. Walter LaFong, Paul Shear, a reporter for the Central Station's newspaper Daylight, and a very close friend of Richard Jacobs and his wife. S.A.H. Eric Bauza, the proprietor of a noodle restaurant, which is used as a front for the Tap Coders hideout. Chucky Wilcox, Josh Feldman, a Tap Coder friend of Frank Diedelman, is killed by Cleveland so he can track down the revolutionaries. Commander Wells, Georg Stanford Brown, the current commander of the AMP. Mr. Orwell, James Urbaniak, Ruth's husband and a high-ranking politician in Electric City. Although he is devoted to Ruth, he is secretly sympathetic to Dr. Lohman and his rebel cause. Giovanni Montalban, Chris Parnell. Manny, Chad Coleman, a former grid operative, now the superintendent of Cleveland's residence in Morningsight. Jean Marie St. Cloud, Jennifer Goodwin, former officer of the AMP forces and ex girlfriend of Cleveland. Due to the machinations of the Knitting Society and the AMP, she is unaware that Cleveland is alive. Tie ins Along with the release of the web series, the mobile application was also released for iOS and Google Android. In addition to the 20 episodes, it includes two comics, a behind-the-scenes sneak peek, and character profiles. In addition to this, there is also a game called Electric City, The Revolt. It allows the player to become a key character as he attempts to undermine the power of the knitting society and restore people's freedom. Topic: <laughs> Electric City: The Revolt. Electric City: The Revolt is a role-playing iOS game based on the animated post-apocalyptic science fiction web series Electric City. It was developed by Jump Games Private Limited and released on July 17, 2012. Topic: Reception. Electric City won the Streamy Award for Best Animated Series. Topic. See also Spicy City, an animated futuristic science fiction series by Ralph Bakshi.